Welcome back, and what we're going to look at now is purchasing. The first thing I'll do is click on the Purchases button at the top there to bring up the Command Center for Purchases. Within Purchases, we have the Purchases Register, which records all the invoices we from suppliers that we've entered, our quotes, and the orders we've sent out. It allows us to enter purchases and pay the bills. We can pay those bills electronically or by writing a cheque, and we can also get a listing of the invoices from our suppliers that we are actually paying. I can print or email my purchase orders as I wish, and if I'm in the construction industry, at the end of each year, I am now required to print taxable payments. Those are payments made to my subcontractors. For most of us, that won't be necessary. But for those of you in the construction industry, it is a new feature that has been introduced by the ATO, the Australian Taxation Office, since the 1st of July 19, uh, 2012. In Enter Purchases, which is what I wish to do, I click on that and up comes a Purchase New Service. My supplier, if I know the name, I can start typing. If not, I can always click on the down arrow and find which suppliers I've got in there. I've only set up one so far, my supplier. And I'll click use that supplier and away we go. The first thing that comes up is the terms. The normal terms given to me by my creditors is net 30 days after the end of month. I guess I'm fairly lucky in that. It means I could get up to 60 days credit, which is rather nice. I could have sold the goods or used the goods in whatever service I provide and been paid by my debtors. Good for cash flow. I've then got a button that's ticked that says the amount is tax inclusive. Normally, I would leave that unticked. My preference. Up to you how you want to enter your information. The purchase number, I've got purchase number three. The date is the 19th of July, which is the current date I'm doing this. And the supplier's invoice number, which I can read off the top of his bill, A123456. What am I buying from him? I'm going to buy something. That will do me fine. What account am I going to use? I think about what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it as part of a job I'm doing for somebody. If I, It's going to be part of my cost of sales. If I press 5 and then press tab, it will take me in the list of accounts to my cost of sales area. I'm going to be using this as part of the materials on a job. I'll click on the materials, click use account, and I've entered it. If I then press tab, I can then enter the amount. I'm being charged $100 plus GST. I click 100. I can put in the jobs. We'll talk about job costing later on. And the GST tax code is already there. That's the fairly normal tax code when associated with materials I'm buying. And it tells me further down the subtotal is $100. The tax thereon is $10. So the total amount of this invoice that I've received from my supplier is $110. Do I need to put any more information in? I can't think of anything at the moment. All I do now is to click record and the item appears in there. One of the other things I can do with this is not just enter bills as they're received from my suppliers, but I can also ask the suppliers to give me a quote or I can also ask them to carry out an order. I can send them a copy of an order for work I wish them to do for me. If I click on the top left hand side where it says bill, I get the opportunity to enter quotes or orders. If I'm looking to get a quote from a supplier, if I click on quotes, I can then say to which supplier is it? I'll put in my supplier's name. A double click will get the name up there. I don't have to click the use customer uh, use supplier button down at the bottom. 
Again, the terms will be net 30th after end of month. And what I want is a quote on supplying another part for a customer. Again, I need to enter the account, five, and materials, use that account, and I can put in the amount that I've got a rough idea of what it would be. I could leave it empty, it'll throw up a little message when I try and record it. Let's leave it empty. Down here I can put in the date I need the thing by. When can they do it? I'm going to put in the 31st of July, which is the end of the current month I'm currently in. Press tab. NYAB knows that it's the current year, 2012. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send this quote off to my supplier I can click the send to button. It will then bring up, do I want to send it by email? Am I going to fax it? Am I going to put it on a disk and send that to him? What I'll do is actually just save the quote. It'll say the quote has very little information because I haven't got an amount in there. Click cancel if I don't wish to record it. I do wish to record it because I'm sending it off. Click OK. Once the supplier has got the quote, he may send me back an email with a price on it. This is what he's going to quote me for the job. If I decide then that I wish to go ahead with the order and place an order with him, if I click on my register, it comes up there with all purchases. And if I look over on the right hand side in the status, I have an open invoice or an open bill open invoice from the supplier, open bill to me, and I also have the quote. If I click in the little white arrow at the beginning of the line, up comes the quote. He's told me the amount is going to be $500 exclusive of GST. That's fine, the tax amount will be shown down there, and the total amount of the order will be for $550. I can then send it, change this into an order by clicking on the order button down at the bottom of the screen and the color changes. And again, I can send it to him or I can print it out if I want to and maybe keep a copy in my files. And I click record and away we go. Eventually, my supplier sends me the goods I've just ordered. If I click on the white arrow at the beginning of the line of the order for $550, it'll open up that order. What I'm going to do now is to turn that order into a bill because I've checked the goods of what I ordered. Down at the bottom, I have a button that says bill and I can click on that, the color changes and when I click record, it will turn it into a bill in the system for payment eventually. The date is the day that the bill arrived. I'm going to make it the 31st of July. The date I've entered after the current date. That's okay, normally it won't appear like that. And I can now put in the supplier's invoice number, 963852. All I need now do is to record it and the bill has been entered into the system for payment at a later date. And now I can see in my purchases register that the bill is now an open bill, it's no longer an order, it is now waiting to be paid.